been going so far? You guys are obviously a new show, a new family on set, so how's it going? Well, it's well. brutal. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that, that's why I left the room. <laughs> it's pretty fantastic, I would say. I think everybody has gelled really quickly, actually. First, we've only been here a couple months. I know, but we really are like a family already, which is it is less common than I think people think it is. Mm -hmm. um, but there's just a lot of genuine affection for each other here, um, and a desire to see everybody succeed, everybody be amazing, everybody be funny. Um, we don't get into it doesn't happen often, but sometimes you get into situations where people get weirdly competitive and stuff, and there's just, everybody's just like, fly, just yeah. fly, like, <laughs> and that's amazing to get to come to work and like be around people who want you to be amazing every time, so. Mm -hmm. Yes, that. it is, so that. <laughs> and you guys just want to make it last as long as possible. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. we're going to keep telling these stories. I think yeah. there's a lot of stories to tell here, and they're fun stories to tell, so. Yeah. yeah. Everybody always says it's great though while they're on the show that they're working on. Nobody ever says it's like. Horrible. But we're being honest. Oh. <laughs> That's People do lie for sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like yeah. I've definitely lied. You wouldn't tell us work is really bad. No, but what, but but yeah. you can sort of see the strain. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been on that show where it's like everything's <laughs> fine, and like, and you can definitely see that this is like it's a lot of work. We're working really hard for sure. Like, and um, you know, but. But we are, like, I really do look forward to coming into work. Um, like, Monday morning coming in, I get excited. I genuinely want to, like, see how everyone's weekend was. And I missed you. And, like, it's a weird, that's a weird thing. That is weird. That's just you, Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. I get, I get, I get clingy. You're a very lonely woman. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine you guys spend a lot of time together. So what would you say is, like, the funniest thing that's ever happened on set? Oh my god. Oh no. That's, oh, that's, that's a really, really hard question. question. The funniest thing that ever happened on set. Anything? Kate? With the, yeah, I don't I, know. there's not like one. It's hijinks all the time. It mm -hmm. feels like, not in a way that's like disruptive and monkeys running around. We're not, <laughs> a, we're not a pranking bunch or anything, yeah, but there's definitely like, we all make each other laugh. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody makes somebody break every day yeah. um, and really at almost every taping as well um, and I definitely think there's joy to be had in that mm -hmm. in like watching someone giggle at something that you or your coworker does but I'm trying to think yeah, like hijinks like, like, like I feel like the second season the kids are going to be yeah, doing maybe that, that. <laughs> yeah I'm going to get a little older they'll like so, get up on the couch with right. BB guns or something <laughs> like it's funny we shot you like <laughs> Ram wrap on the toilet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah None of that, that stuff. Who, who's the funniest on set? Just, Again, na just naturally. Really... Who always makes you laugh? Well, the thing is that everybody is so different and spectacular in their own way. Like, it's a ve everybody has their own special brand. So, Dave is really dry and really smart really and dry. Smart and, like... and, yeah, underplayed. Um, Albert just is a joyous person, and so he will be skipping around set and it just like and dancing, and dance. he like he yeah. watches other actors and kind of mirrors back, even though like like he's not like he's kind of he, like you can see him physically trying out stuff yeah. that other people are doing, which is amazing and adorable. Yeah, every everybody is funny in their own way, so it's a good mishmash. There's not one like real jokester. <laughs> but there's also like not like a real thud either. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody is kind of of the like, let's just keep going back. So it's often the ADs have to rein us in yeah. and make us work. Yeah. Because otherwise we'll just be doing bits. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys were younger, even now, um, one of my favorite things was always the holiday episodes, mm -hmm. uh, for, especially on network television, because it's like, it's Halloween, and it's Halloween on TV, too, and that's exciting. Okay. Do you remember any show that was like, that was my favorite ho holiday episode? Oh, my gosh. Uh, there's one Frasier Thanksgiving that really sticks out in my mind. Was it the one where they were all lying? Where, they went to, was it Lilith's house? Oh. I think they had to go to Lilith's house. Also, the, the Will and Grace Thanksgiving, where they... 
A lot of Thanksgiving, because you always have to go to someone's house that you don't want to be at. And you get to see, and it's also having the friends interact with the family. So, yeah, a lot of Thanksgiving. Do you have one? I mean, the first Simpsons Christmas episode yes. is like, is a perfect piece of television mm -hmm. where they get Santa's little helper and like, mm -hmm. yeah, and TV has lied to Bart because he doesn't win. Like, it's just, it's such a perfect Maggie with a perfect, like, it's just great. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think when I'm much, I'm super old, so I'm like, did Wonder Woman have a holiday episode? <laughs> but like, I don't. <laughs> Star Wars did. Did they? Yeah. yeah. Star Wars Christmas. Yes. See, I wasn't. I like. I I cultivated my Trekkie status. I was more like the like the, the gay boy who was like it was all like about Bionic Woman and Wonder Woman and stuff. And they didn't really do holiday episodes because they were saving the world. So. I oh, did what? you watch? Did you have the like the Garfield Halloween? Do you remember the Garfield Halloween no. special or the Christmas? The, yeah. A Super Garfield scary Christmas. for Garfield. Garfield? Well, not a pirate ship. There are ghosts. It's terrifying. <laughs> so that was in Blazing here. Just wow. because it was terrifying. <laughs> and the peanuts. Oh yeah. That's those are those specials though, which I think yeah. I you mean like when like like your favorite characters had like yeah. a yeah. holiday. Like the Simpsons ones. Yeah. yeah. Or, or the Halloween Simpsons episodes. Yeah. Right which I still will always tune in for Treehouse of Terror, always, mm -hmm. always. Sometimes they're amazing and sometimes they're just a little skewed, but like, it's, I'll, I'll still, I'll always watch Treehouse yeah. of Terror. Now we know you guys are filming a Christmas episode, so we've mm -hmm. seen your decorations. Are you also getting a Thanksgiving episode this year? We did it last week. Yes. Okay. How'd that go? It was really fun. Yeah, can we share? Aww. She's like, she's like so perfect, like shut block ears, I don't want you to big old head, but she's like so perfectly Julie on it, which like, which is Julie's weird like the set of rules that she's really rigid on, even while she's being really, she's just, she brought the house oh, down last no. week, this one, brought the house down. Mm -hmm. Out of the three episodes, the Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, which one are you most looking forward to fancying? To, to having air, you mean? Mm -hmm, like, to, yeah. Which one should I could answer. Go ahead, answer. Uh, let me go on the record as saying they're all great. Mm -hmm. um, and they all have, like, lovely moments in them. I love our Thanksgiving episode because yeah. uh, she's amazing. But I also love that um, it, it, it talks about something that, that kind of doesn't, you ne kind of don't ever see on television, which is... Um, you know, people tend to just just go, this is an Asian family. Mm -hmm. And like it actually like explores that Ken's character is Korean and Susie's character is Japanese mm -hmm. and the, it's a cross-cultural household. And I, you don't often see people talking about sure. that. And so I'm sort of excited to mm -hmm. watch people watch that conversation. Cool. How excited were you when you got to be Khaleesi and have dragons on your shoulder? Super excited. Are you a Game of Thrones fan? Yes. In your life? And she's, a, I really do connect with her. I was so flattered. <laughs> and when I first met the dragons, I was like, now I have a whole team of people that I can work with. It would, yeah, I was very excited to see that. You were sexy. You were sexy. For Khaleesi, I thought it was Daenerys. Yeah. Is that the same yeah. thing? No. Khaleesi? No, Daenerys. Khaleesi. They are the same thing? Yeah. She, Khaleesi means queen. Oh, is that okay. right? But, yeah, yeah, but it's but queen. Her, her, I watched like exactly. two episodes and I was like, this is too sad. Exactly. <laughs> I get it. You're all cold oh. and life is miserable. I get it. <laughs>